Epochal Integration is a hand cannon added to Destiny 2 in Season of the Deep. The mission for this gun feels like an extension to the Lightfall campaign that gives us loads more information about the Veil. Plus, we've got a very tasty hand cannon that's got some great stats and perk combinations. Well, today I'm going to walk through how to get the Epochal Integration plus look at the perk combinations in Destiny 2. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at how to get Epochal Integration. So first of all, you want to make sure you finish the Lightfall campaign and then the Unfinished Business Exotic Quest. Once you've been Kalos and you've gathered all the relevant information about the Veil, you're ready to begin parting the Veil quest and that is going to reward you the Epochal Integration. Well, the first step of the quest has you hunting Cabal on Nia Muna, so you can pick a Lost Sector or battle Cabal outside Kalos' ship on Nia Muna. The Lost Sectors called Gilded Precept or the Hydroponics Delta, they are good Lost Sectors because they're filled with Cabal, and also they're good because other Guardians cannot steal your kills. But either way, however you defeat Cabal on Nia Muna, just do that, and they will drop Vex tracking data. You're going to need 10 to move on to the next step of the quest. Well, next up, you want to go to Maya's Retreat, and you'll have a handy marker on your map to direct you there. So make your way through Liming Harbor and get to Maya's Retreat. Once you arrive, you're going to see a Vex Conduit, and there you have to defeat waves of enemies to release the Vex Harpies one by one. So kill the waves of enemies and then the Vex Harpies and retrieve the data from the Vex Structure. Well, next up, you've got to get more data. So this time, you have to go to the Urkala Complex. So... For this one, go through the Zephyr Concourse and the ESI Terminal and jump through the portal to find your destination. When you've made it to the Urkala Complex, you have to defeat waves of enemies once again and also those pesky little harpies as well. So complete three waves, defeat the harpies, and then you're going to be able to select the Parting the Veil mission from the banner that's very, very close by. Well, much of this mission is Bungie giving us more information about the Veil. So once you make your way through into the Veil facility, you have to interact with a terminal. And this has got the personal logs of Kiyomi Essi. And if you're a fan of Destiny 2 lore, this is great content indeed. The Taken then appear out of nowhere in the facility. You've got to take them out whilst making your way to the Veil. This is the same area where we defeated Kallus before at the end of the Lightfall campaign. This time, it's not Kallus we have to defeat, but a Tormentor. Plus, you've got loads and loads of Taken enemies that come at you in waves. So defeat the Taken and the Tormentor, then it's time to go to the Hall of Heroes, pick up your reward from the Poker Pond, and also, while you're there, you want to pick up the new Strand Aspect for your class. And congratulations, you now have the Hand Cannon Epochal Integration. Okay, next up, let's have a closer look at this hand cannon. So, Epochal Integration is a legendary energy hand cannon with an adaptive frame, meaning it's got wear and a grip, it's reliable and it's sturdy. Looking at the stats, you've got 84 for impact, 54 for range, 82 for stability, 60 for handling, 41 for reload speed, 18 for airborne effectiveness. It's a 140 rounds per minute hand cannon with 11 in the magazine. We also have a selection of origin traits here. So first of all, Harmonic Resonance. So equipping multiple weapons from the set grants the weapon increased reload speed and handling. Also deals increased damage versus Tormentors, Lucent Hive and Guardians using their supers. Then we've got Nanotech Tracer Rocket. So landing multiple hits turns your next shot into a homing micro missile. We've also got a selection of perks in the third and the fourth column of the weapon. So in the third column, you got a choice between Keep Away and Stats for All. So Keep Away, you got increased reload range and accuracy when there's no combatants in close proximity. And then Stats for All, so hitting three separate targets increases the weapon handling, stability, reload, and range for a moderate duration. Then in the fourth column, we've got a choice between Eye of the Storm and Incandescent. So with Eye of the Storm, the weapon becomes more accurate and boosts handling as your health gets lower. And Incandescent, one of my favorite perks in the game, Defeating a target spreads Scorch to those nearby. More powerful combatants than opposing guardians cause Scorch in a larger radius. Well, the best combination of perks is whatever suits your playstyle. I mainly play PvE content, so I'm always using Incandescent. Then I tend to switch between Keep Away and Stats for All. But whatever the perk combination, I think this is a great 140 RPM hand cannon. 
Well, let me know in the comments what you think about the Epochal integration and let me know your perk combination. And that is it for this guide for how to get the Epochal integration in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. Well, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you real soon.